I blew up my microwave and you can too. Today I'm showing you my process of filming, tracking, object removal, and smoke simulation. So without further ado, let's get started with- I started with my raw footage. There's no real plan for this footage. It was only when I saw the microwave that I knew I wanted to blow it up. I made sure to film a detailed area with lots of patterns and features to make my track easier, and my goal with this footage was to get an accurate track, so I kept small movements and didn't change too much perspective. The important thing to note here is that I used a high frame rate to reduce motion blur, so my track would be easier later. After filming, I popped my SD card into my computer with a brand new RTX 3060. I'll talk about that in another video. And I imported my clip into Blender. I absolutely hate tracking. Like, I really wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, but I refused to use Adobe products, so I dove right into Blender's tracking. Using the location motion model, I plotted all my points. Then, I solved with a super useful add-on for refining tracking solutions. I'll put the link in the description, and got a pretty good track. This one is really simple. See a microwave, make a microwave, put a microwave inside a microwave, profit. So, the thing is, after I recreated objects so they could interact with the door flying off, they were still there because I shot them in the original footage. So, the first thing I tried to do is content aware filled them out with an Adobe product. After one long hour of selecting all of my objects, my content aware fail looked like this, so I think it's pretty easy to say I'm never gonna use an Adobe product again. Alright, new plan. Let's take pictures of the surrounding objects and place them in the perspective view of the camera to cover up the objects that got knocked over. To add on to that, I can digitally recreate them and place them over the footage so the objects aren't that noticeable. Hey look, it actually works! Nice! Smoke sims are fun, but sometimes I get too realistic and my CPU starts smoking. Besides the long bake times, long render times, complicated physics, bugs and glitches, and unexplained settings, smoke sims are some of my favorite things to do in Blender. To make things a little easier, I used a chaos add-on to simulate my smoke and made my explosion happen at the same time as the door flying off, because it would look kind of stupid if it wasn't. <laughs> Add in me forgetting to color grade my footage, and boom, here's my final result. I caused so many issues for myself that I could have fixed if I just shot the footage correctly. The first one is sticking to a rule that digital objects interact with a digital scene. Because I had physical objects, I had to cover them up later in post, and that took a long time to do. So instead of leaving physical objects there, I'm just going to place digital objects so everything can interact and I won't have to cover it up. In the final render, the smoke sim resolution looked a little 8-bit oh, Mario. So I learned just to make it 256 and let it bake overnight. Last takeaway is you are the best. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video. So I encourage you to blow up your own microwave at home now. What's that? I can't say that on YouTube?